Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tuesdays with Sarah. I'm your host, Sarah Chu. Julie, one of my good friends back in pharmacy school, she, oh, hi Julie, um, if she's watching this. Uh, she, a long time ago, she wanted me to make a recipe with spaghetti squash in it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So the recipe today is gonna be Parmesan spaghetti squash with bacon, spinach, and pine nuts. Our main ingredient here is the spaghetti squash. Doesn't it look like a little yellow minion? <laughs> this is like the eye. But it just reminds me of this one time I went to, it doesn't look as cute because the, the eye is really small, but it just reminds me of this one time when I went to Vegas. Um, so if you've ever been to Vegas, there's these people dressed in different cartoon character costumes walking around uh, preying on kids so that they can take pictures and make money off of them. So one of the peep, one of the character costumes was a minion, <laughs> and it was the ugliest minion that I've ever seen. It was, it looked like this, with legs and arms, and then instead of the eye being like really cute and big, it was like a freaking like golf ball. It was like, can you imagine that? I don't know like what, kind of kid would pay to take a picture with that. Anyway, it was scary. So we're gonna be cutting this up in this way. Just have to get some leverage. So the reason why I decided to cut it like this way instead of this way is because they wrap around the squash like this. So if you cut it like this, the noodles will be very short, as you can see in the diagram. Okay, now we're gonna scoop all the squash poop out. Yes, squash poop. I usually like to use the hands. Oh my god. I don't know why, but my trash can smells like a, a, an ashtray. I don't smoke though. Weird. Gross. Smoking is gross. Spaghetti squash actually has a lot of health benefits. Uh, one, it can be used as a substitute for pasta. You know, if you're ever having pasta cravings, this is a great substitute. Low in carbs, low in calories. Uh, another thing is that it has a, a large amount of antioxidants like vitamin A and vitamin C, which is good for your skin and your health overall. Um, there also contains beta carotene and lutein, which are good for your eye health. Eye health. Carrots are a good source as well. Anything that's orange or yellow, um, you know those have a lot of beta carotene. Another thing to note is that this has so much more fiber than your regular pasta. I know some, I think some, now they're making like pastas out of bean flour, so those should have more fiber too. And I'm thinking of making a recipe with those bean-based pastas in the future, so watch out for that. I know some of you are reluctant to make spaghetti squash because maybe you've done it in the past and it's come out wet and mushy, but in order to prevent that, we're gonna do one extra step before baking. So we're gonna take an aluminum foil pan and we're gonna put some towels over it. Our main goal is to suck out all the water from here using some salt and then this is gonna be our drying area. So take some salt and then spread some salt liberally over the spaghetti squash and just give it a good rub. You want all the water to be sucked out. And then for the final recipe, you don't have to apply as much salt because, you know, you already did. While I'm waiting for these little minions to dry up, we're just gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna go for a 5K run, which is on my workout schedule today, and I'll be back in 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, so now that we're done with this, we're just gonna pat dry all of it. Yeah. Dab, 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 d
uh, from my camera and that's because I forgot my camera back at home in the bay and so now I'm using my GoPro which is not ideal for these type of cooking videos but it's okay. We are going to continue with the spaghetti squash. I'm just going to talk a little bit about a special ingredient that we're going to be using which is pine nuts. Um, so these nuts are very unique. They're harvested from the pine cones in evergreen trees and they're actually grown underneath the scales of the pine cone. This uh, ingredient is actually a classic component in pesto. It's very versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. You can use it to top salads, um, pilaf, uh, and you can also grind it up, put it in cakes and cookies as well. Um, there's actually a lot of health benefits to this. It uh, contains protein, iron, magnesium, as well as a lot of anti-aging antioxidants. It's high in oil and it, but it's not the bad type of oil. It, it's called the monounsaturated fats, um, which is the good type. There's unsaturated fats and saturated. Saturated is the bad one, unsaturated good. This type of healthy fat, particularly in fat, the one found in the pine nut, it releases or increases the hormone in your body called CCK, which acts as an appetite suppressant. So for all you Weight Watchers out there, that's really good. So as you can tell by the name, it has very pine-like flavor, but it's not like super overwhelming or anything. It's not like eating one of those, you know, those car air freshener things. That's, that's gross. It has a very high oil content, which as I said before, which lends to its buttery flavor and texture. Um, but when it's added into foods, um, it adopts this very mild and sweet uh, flavor. Today we're going to be toasting them because it it's the best way to bring out the pine nut flavor. Uh, and something to note is that because of its high oil content, you want to be careful when roasting them uh, because they do burn easily. And also because of that oil issue, you want to store it in the fridge to prevent it from going rancid. You know. Now we're gonna heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet on medium high heat. Add minced garlic and fresh spinach and saute for about two minutes and you're gonna stir on medium heat uncovered until spinach wilts. And you can season it with salt and pepper. I like pepper. And then you add uh, finely chopped cooked bacon and mix it to combine on low heat. Now you add the freshly shredded Parmesan cheese to the skillet and stir on low heat to melt the cheese. Now you add the spaghetti squash to the skillet. Oh, beautiful. Pop it with the pine nuts that you just toasted. And voila, you are done. Beautiful. As you can tell from the smile on my face, the dish turned out really well. Um, and if you haven't realized, I haven't uploaded it in a while, a month to be exact. And the reason for that is because I've been really busy. Now, well, it's more so I've been procrastinating a lot. Um, I actually had to watch this video on YouTube on how not to procrastinate, how to avoid procrastination before I could actually get myself to start or like continue with this video. And it worked because I finished the video. <laughs> okay, but it's not only procrastination that prevented me from uploading this video. It's also the fact that I took a vacation from work recently and I was able to spend a lot of time with my family and friends. And after graduating from pharmacy school, my number one priority has been my family and friends and just like treasuring those relationships. Because in pharmacy school, all I thought about was school. I would, I wouldn't necessarily say I neglected my relationships, but I really did not pay a lot of um, attention or give a lot of time towards um, towards building them. So now I'm really happy that I don't have those intense obligations and I can invest more time in building those relationships. Something that I also value is my alone time and during my alone time I like to make these videos, um, I like to build up my clinical knowledge for work and I like to, I also like to exercise, but a lot of my alone time has been going towards uh, training for the Spartan race. And I will, I feel like 
Right now I'm training for one of those eight to 10 mile obstacle races so I can be prepared for what I signed up for, which is like a three to five mile race. And I like to over prepare sometimes. Right now, uh, I feel like I've been getting stronger, especially now that the schedule requires me to lift free weights. And I feel like I've been developing a much higher endurance as well. Um, today I actually finished running a 12K, which is equivalent to 7 point f about 7.5 miles. And I did it without stopping um, at an eight minute and 30 second mile, or eight, 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 eight minute, 30 seconds, miles per minute. No, eight minutes and 30 seconds per mile um, speed. And I am really proud of myself for that. I gave my myself a pat on the back after I finished and I, I gave myself a pep talk as well, before and after. Um, Cause it really, I don't know, it does something to my head where I'm, it makes me feel good. And it tells me, it reminds me that I'm doing this for a reason, then I should just, I have to keep going. You know the real reason why I have not been uploading, it's because I've been investing my time in other things and I have been procrastinating. Um, the other things I will continue investing my time in, but the second thing, which is procrastination, I will work on that and, you know, eventually eliminate all that. Oh, since we were talking about what I value, um, I guess to anyone I hang out with or to anyone I, you know, give my time and attention to, just know that you are special to me and you add so much value to my life and I love hanging out with you, um, which is why I give you my time and attention, which is something I value a lot. So keep up the good work of being cool. Should I edit this out? I don't know. All right, so thank you for joining me on Tuesdays with Sarah. I hope to upload very, very soon. Um, have a good day. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, meal prep, you know, do all that cool stuff. So I'll see you soon. Bye.